How's it going? Been about eight or so months since I've made a video. But uh yeah, a lot has changed. I uh went to FSU and now I'm back for the summer. We'll uh we'll show a flashback clip. Like now. So Right now we're at FSU. Um, I'm a freshman here and uh, it's about over. We got done with exams today and my roommate already moved out so I'm using the whole room. Or uh, today's Thursday and I'm leaving Saturday morning so we're just packing up, trying to get ahead of schedule. This is my side, a little bit of personal stuff. and Yeah, I left my mic at home so I was gonna like film most of the beginning of this video at uh, here, but I don't want the, the sound quality to be as bad. I mean, it's not terrible, but it could be better. So, yeah, I will be back home soon. Alright. And welcome back. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm still moving in. It's been a minute, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I want to get this video done and get back into YouTube. I really like it. It's always been something that I've, I've loved doing. I've done it before and I will keep doing it. Um, if you want to watch the previous video, I do have it up on my channel. It's the only channel that, I mean, the only video that I've made on this channel. So yeah, you can go check that out. But at the moment, we are talking about my road to 315, which is pretty crazy to say. I never thought I would be able to hit that, especially in a short period of time that I did. So, um, I've only been lifting for about a year and a half. I started November 10th, 2022, and today's date is May 9th, 2023. So yeah, that's about a year and six months, actually, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, for about seven months, I never even had access to a bench. And the first time I had access to the to a bench at all was uh, at FSU when I went to go take an orientation. You actually have to be there. We'll be there for about two or three days. And um, I, they have a place called the Leech, and the Leech is awesome. I love the Leech. But yeah, um, the first time I benched was actually at orientation. It was the third day, and they were showing us the Leech. It's a pretty big facility. It's pretty cool. I I went there. I couldn't even bench. 185. I wasn't even able to bench 185, which is pretty crazy. I met a dude there named Hagen, and he was benching um, about 185. I'm like, I've never touched a bench press before. They didn't believe me because of my size. Um, I did 135 like it was nothing, and then I tried to do 185, and I failed, which is crazy. I went back to this little gym that like I had. It was all I had. The only reason why like I didn't see growth in my chest for a long time was because I was capped out at 50 pound dumbbells. At first I started like really close grip. Like it would be like the, the gnarling or like the, the grip part. I would put it as close as I could to the center. Cause at that time it felt very comfortable to do that. Um, then I found out that it was mostly doing my triceps and I started going out a bit more. I got to FSU, I started bulking because my parents got me the meal plan and so I literally had unlimited food and so I just kept eating, I kept bulking. I saw, I got there at 175 in body weight and this was after cutting for three months where I reached a low of 171. I went from 193 to 171 which is a pretty crazy jump for about three months. And I kept my strength and saw that like my strength was still going up. I was going to bulk for three months and I was doing really good. And then I was going to go for 405 on squat and I didn't start squatting until two months before. So I was squatting for about two months and I somehow gained enough strength to go to about 315, 335. And I was supposed to end my bulk there, but what happened was is I had a I had a, a buddy who who bet me 20 bucks that if I can do a deep squat with no belt for 405 then he'll give me 20 bucks I said done deal so I took the deal and uh, I bulked for a little extra pretty much up until winter break which was like the beginning of December 
But yeah, I bulked for about three and a half months and I reached a top weight of 214 pounds. Just right there, just right there, right before 215. But yeah, um, so that was the entire first semester. It was That was from August to, um, to December. So basically about three and a half months. So yeah, I got from 175 to 215. Um, but I got, I got the squat. Play the clip. Oh my god. Holy shit. So yeah, I mean, I'd say that's worth it. As you saw. And then I, I went back on a cut and I didn't really see any changes in my bench. Um, at some point I did max bench somewhere around December. Um, I asked a buddy to spot me and I go, I'm going for 260 which is two plates and two tens. Okay, I just I just looked back on the videos. Um, scratch that, I meant 265. 265 was my max. But yeah, um, at the beginning of my cut, which was um, December, January, I, I only got up to 255 because for some reason, I just couldn't hit anything past that. 255 was the max I could do. And I have a video of me like struggling at crunch um with 255 which was insane um but yeah i cut and i didn't go for any maxes because you should not be going for any like competing lifts or uh just one rep maxes when you're when you're on a cut you're losing weight you're, you're losing fat and you're not in the best ability in order for you to be seeing prs so that entire time i was just hitting consistent making sure i stayed at the level that i was at that moment i was 190 and then i started bulking and that was about um, i'd say what was that march yeah it was at march 10th was when i started bulking up again and literally within i think a week or two i was watching this guy no right before right before my cut ended i was watching this guy doing bench and i could tell he knew what he was doing because he had 345 on on like the actual bench and i and i watch him do a set he goes and does it for reps i stopped for a second and i watched what he was doing and because obviously i thought he he knew more than me so i i went and i watched his form and everything so he does this thing where he puts pinky over the ring of the barbell and then he has it fully flat when he's when you're laying on the bench have your palms fully flat and have the pinky at the at the ring area and then what he does is he twists it slightly to where his palms are still slightly on it but not fully straight pulls himself up to the bar where it's about eye level and then he lowers himself having his shoulders locked back he pushes it up and it's a perfect lift off so after that, I decided to try what he was doing. I was like, okay, um, I did it for one of my rep days and I saw immediate PRs. Not only the fact that I changed my grip, which it helped and I had no more shoulder pain and it felt perfect. I felt it both my triceps and my chest and I got a PR, which is pretty crazy. I decided one day I just felt like, oh, I feel really good. Might as well just go for a max. 225 moves up like it's nothing. I go to 245, nothing, feel it. I don't feel any of it. It's the craziest thing. And then I go and I'm, I'm putting up 265. 265 is the only thing I did. And that's like, that was like a really bad pause rep. And I, I went for it. And that, that flew. I could not believe it. And I didn't even feel it in my chest. So I was like, okay, time to go up. Then after that, I went for a 280 bench because my buddy had 280 as a max bench and I was kind of mad about it. He goes, I won't let you get any higher than 280 because he didn't want me to beat his max. So I went for 280 and that shit flew like, like it was nothing, which is insane. And I'm like, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, I just got a new max. That's insane. That's insane. Everyone's looking at me. And they're like, wait, that's, that's, that's what your max was? I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, you, got, you need to go up because that was like, that flew. I wasn't paying attention and he decided to load 15 more pounds on there. He loads 295 on the bar, which is 
already insane weight. It, it was unrealistic. I kind of was just sitting there and I just watched him put on the weight because my brain wasn't functioning. I just did 285 and I've never done that before. I'm just baffled by the entire experience. The entire time, I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to go up. So I sat there, I kneeled, and I asked for prayer, asked in prayer, God, give me the strength, and at the very least, keep me safe. And I attempt 295, I go for it, and uh, come on, come on. Nope. I got halfway, but it didn't go up. After that, I started having some shoulder problems, and that's where I started to slow down. I started to get a little angry with myself. There's something wrong in my left shoulder and even right now it's not even fixed that was about nine weeks ago but yeah i started working at it i started working at my my pr sets now i do three sets of five three to five reps if i can't even hit three i'll go down anyway so i did that for a couple weeks and i tried messing around with my shoulder i would mess around with it and luckily i would like pop it and it would feel better at some point i do not recommend doing that but that's what i did i kind of just saw that my potential was there and that I could maybe get 315 real quick. So I kept progressing and progressing and progressing and the shoulder got a lot better. And then the next um, three weeks after that, I went for another max and I, I knew based off two, how 295 went, I knew I could get 290. So the goal was to hit 290 that week. And then I went for the max again I hit 290 like it was nothing. Then after that, I was like, okay, well, might as well go up to 300. So we go for 300, and 300 was a little bit of a challenge, but we hit it. And now after this, we only have about three weeks left before FSU, the, the spring term, ended. So it was more of just getting down to it. So I started eating like a hog, man. All this right here, except for that plate right there. That's what I got. And I just kept eating and eating and eating and keeping up my bulk because 315 was right there. 15 pounds from my max. So I was, I was training as much as I could and making sure that I stayed consistent and making sure that um, I didn't do anything that could injure myself. I kept seeing PRs completely, not just in my bench, but also my squat and my deadlift, which is pretty crazy. I had about a five week streak of just constant PRs. My squat, my deadlift, my bench was just absolutely just taking off. But yeah, I'm training, I'm training, I'm training. I'm working on my my uh my PR range with when it comes to PRs with reps. So I get about I think 265 for three and I keep doing that and I find out that there's something wrong with my grip. At some point I don't remember when I, uh, I was tinkering around with the grip, the one that I, I watched the guy doing. Um, I was tinkering around with it, and I, I started messing around with it, and I thought I was not doing it properly, so I f tried to fix it. And I don't remember, at some point, it just became a bit harder to, like, do, do my sets. And I found out the reason why a week before I attempted this. And we planned it all out. Bro, when I was doing 270 for three the other week, the shit was not moving. But I finally found the issue because I was making my wrist fully horizontal. So it was kind of like teeter-tottering on both sides. I didn't know that like I slightly bend it and it literally makes my bench go up like crazy. So the liftoff is like fixed and everything. And dude, 315 is looking like a reality. It's crazy. I found out that there was an issue with my grip. And there was a big thing where it would strain my triceps for a good bit. And I thought it was my triceps, but no, it was, your, it was my forearms. I was mentioning earlier that you put the ring over there and then you go flat and then you twist it. But you have to leave a little palm. I decided that I would pull it all the way vertical to where my wrists are completely straight and lift off. The problem with that is now you're trying to stabilize it more than anything. And you're not actually getting that lift off because when you use a little palm, everyone's got their sweet spot. Everyone's a little different. But if you use a little palm, you actually have a, a lot more stabilization. And so the lift off is what causes it to just fly. Yeah, I know. Technically, I can max out by having someone else lift off for me. But come on, it's pretty, it's pretty cool if you can lift it off yourself. It's finally the day that I'm about to hit 315. I'm there, I'm ready, I'm hyped. I went from 225 to 275. It was a little bit of a struggle, not gonna lie. 
And then finally, 295 and then 305 is loaded on the bar. I got me some sweet tart chewables. I love those. They're great. I have, I take my pre and everything right before 305 and this, it's all riding on this. That 305 should move and then if 305 moves, then 315 is going to move. And we're hoping that at least 305 moves because if 305 doesn't, then it's, it's game over before it even starts. So I'm there, I'm, I'm sitting on the bench, I kneel, I pray, as I always do, and I'm just thinking, God, just at least keep me safe. It's fine if I don't hit 305, but I'm hoping I hit 305. I finally sit down on the bench, and I'm ready, and I go under, and I'm, I'm back to my old grip where I fixed it, where it doesn't have any issues. The liftoff is a little questionable. I, I lose grip on my right foot, and then it goes down, and goes up but it gets stuck about halfway the sticking point is what they call it and then it finally goes up and i rack it back up and the entire time i'm thinking that was not good there's no way i'm gonna get 315 today that's that was bad maybe i misgrooved it maybe maybe it just didn't wasn't as good as it was supposed to be maybe maybe there's something wrong with my form and i'm thinking this and i i'm looking at everyone and i realize that they're thinking that too that 305 wasn't that smooth and i don't think i can they're thinking maybe he doesn't got 315. i take about i think 10 minutes or something i went to go use a restroom make sure you're in that clear mind space and everything and i have all these people gathered around all these people that are invited for the 315 hopefully that i can hit it i'm riding on it hopefully because i want to i want to show these give these people a show i mean if if 305 305 didn't move that well, and if there wasn't people there, I probably wouldn't have won for 315, because I'm, I'm going to be honest, like, that 305 was not pretty. So I'm like, well, screw it, we'll go for 315, might as well. If I'm going to fail, I'll, I'll just fail, that's fine, but at least attempt it. So I take a, I take a break, obviously, because you're going to need a break after 305 pounds. We have 315 loaded on, and uh, my buddy EJ is doing that as a warm-up. I'm just trying to get in my headspace, and I'm praying right before and being like, Lord, just keep me safe. That's all I care about. I always start out right before I um, go for uh, like a, a top set of a bench or something like that, or like my last set when it comes to PR or one reps, I'll wrap my cross, this one specifically, I'll wrap the, I'll wrap it around the barbell and I'll, I'll sit down there, I'll kneel and pray, I'll show a picture, I'll kneel, I'll pray and I'll ask God for guidance and keeping me safe because that's the one thing i care about is just being safe not that i lift it or, all, or anything that's his will if he lets me lift it but i attribute all my strength to him and i have the necklace already wrapped on there because i, I at least hit a 305 max which is crazy i sit there i i kneel and i pray one more time i pray lord if this goes up it will be your will that's your strength not mine Lord, if it doesn't go up, I understand. I need to work on some things. But Lord, I ask for one thing and one thing only, that you keep me safe. I thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I get up and I get loaded. I'm, I start my song. My song, I always do. I started about a while, I think two, three, four weeks before I started listening to a new um, PR song. A little different, but it's uh, Goodness of God by Bethel Music. I started listening more to um, worship music, and worship music for me is very comforting and knowing that God is by my side and everything will be okay, so I, I love listening to that. And it really helps me understand that my strength is not my own, my strength comes from God. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And I fully believe that, and I fully believe that this next clip is all because of God. I sit down on the bench. I'm getting ready, I'm getting pumped, I'm getting that blood flowing. I'm trying to get a little anxious too because if you're not anxious then your heart's not pumping fast enough and you might not be able to get the lift up. I go for it and I have my hands on the bar and I'm ready and the point of the song is about to drop so I, I go for it. Push, 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 push.
Should I stop recording? <laughs> Should I stop recording now? Yep. How about, how about now?